Alright guys, Dominic here for KitGuru and it is that time again where we are updating our GPU test system for 2023. This time around we have teamed up with PC Specialist who have spec'd out and built our brand new test system. With plenty more graphics card reviews to come this year, it's crucial that our test system is both as accurate and as up to date as possible. So in today's video, we're gonna be taking you over all the details of our brand new GPU benchmarking system. Getting right into it then, while our old system is admittedly still no slouch with Intel's i9-12900K, we did feel it was time for an upgrade and PC specialists reached out to us about this and they put together our brand new rig for 2023. At its heart is Intel's i9-13900KS, so that is obviously Intel's flagship CPU and we've locked it to 5.6 gigahertz on all P cores. We could of course have opted for one of the new Ryzen 3D CPUs, but in truth, I've actually spec'd out this system and we've already had it about a month before those Ryzen 3D CPUs came out. The overall difference between them isn't that big anyway, and to tell you the truth, the 3900KS absolutely crunches through our gaming benchmark, so I am very happy with this CPU. Of course, an Intel 13th gen CPU means we've opted for a Z790 chipset motherboard. Specifically, this is the Gigabyte Z790 Gaming X AX. This board has simply proven rock solid in my testing so far. As mentioned, we've locked the P-Cores to 5.6 gigahertz. And I also have to say, as someone who pretty frequently swaps out the graphics card, the new PCIe Easy Latch feature actually looks really cool. And of course, there's plenty of M.2 bays for our storage needs. Naturally, we opted for some DDR5 memory as well, specifically the Corsair Dominator Platinum RGB DDR5 6000 MHz CL36. This is simply a very solid memory kit at a decent speed, and it really does keep the system chugging along nicely. And we do get the bonus that being a Corsair kit, the lighting will also synchronize with the other Corsair components in our case. One of those components includes the Corsair IQ H150i RGB Elite Cooler. This is a 360mm all-in-one liquid cooler and it simply provides more than enough cooling power to handle the 3900KS while gaming. To give you an example, I ran a sustained load in Cyberpunk 2077 at 1080p and I didn't see CPU package temperatures exceed 65 degrees. So for this CPU, I am very happy with those results and will simply have no concerns that the CPU is going to be overheating while gaming. As for our storage then, this was an important area for me and we've opted for two M.2 SSDs, both being Seagate FireCuda NVMe Gen 4 drives. The first is simply a 500 gigabyte drive, which acts as our boot drive and has windows on it. And then I also have a four terabyte drive, which is just going to house all the games we want to test. Now I get that four terabytes might seem a little bit excessive, but frankly, I've lost count of the number of games which are now over 100 gigabytes to install. I'm talking the lights of Assassin's Creed Valhalla, Forza Horizon 5, Red Dead Redemption 2, and the list goes on. Having 4 terabytes simply means I can install as many games as I need to. Typically, I test between 16 to 20 games per GPU review, and this just means we have all the space we need. All of those components then are housed within the Corsair 5000D Airflow chassis. This is both a spacious and airflow focused case, two things which are absolutely ideal for testing GPUs. As we know, graphics cards are bigger than ever and we want to ensure that they are supplied with plenty of fresh air. To help with that, we installed three Corsair LL120 fans in the front of the case so they will be intaking fresh air into the chassis. The three fans on the all-in-one liquid cooler are exhausting out of the roof, and we've also got one extra exhaust fan at the back of the case. 
That just leaves the PSU, which I think is more important than ever, considering just how much juice CPUs and GPUs can suck down these days. With that in mind, I opted for the Corsair X 1600i with its titanium rated efficiency and of course 1600 watt capacity. Now, even a 4090 and 3900KS when combined won't be drawing that much juice, but as always, I'd much rather have too much headroom than not enough, and it also ensures that we will be operating in the peak efficiency window in most gaming scenarios. I also personally find it super useful that this power supply can have both a 12 volt high power connector and three 8 pin power connectors all connected at the same time. So when I'm swapping and changing between GPUs, I don't have to worry that I'm gonna have to unplug and replug some power connectors. So that is it guys, that is the lowdown on our brand new GPU test system for 2023. Of course, a massive thanks has to go to PC Specialist who, like I said, specced and built this system. I am really happy with how it turned out and if you want to configure your own PC specialist system, we will leave a link down in the description. I also want to hear from you guys, so if there's any specific games you want me to test, I am always open to suggestions, so let me know down in the comments below. That is going to do it for this video though guys, so if you liked it, please do leave me a thumbs up. As always, leave me your comments down below as I already said. Please do like and subscribe if you haven't already. And why not come chat with us on our Discord server, which is linked down in the description. While you're there, you can also find links to our brand new merch store. And if you're feeling particularly generous, you could even consider backing us on Patreon. That's it for this one though, guys. I'm Dominic for Kit Guru, and I'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.